Well, hello everybody. Here's part two um, for the Dragonfly Journal. <clears throat> I said this time we would probably just be doing, uh, you know, making and using the stuff that was cut off the box used to make the cover for the Dragonfly Journal. Now I have pieces that were trimmed off of the jelly plate paper that I used to cover the cover and these match you know the end pieces so I figured I would use these to cover what I was going to use the tabs for now obviously I'm not going to need tabs this wide and these are an inch wide so I'm going to trim the tabs down to an inch wide. Um, I did offhand make, like in the last one, I said I was going to uh, see if I could make a pocket. And I'm going to, well, it's still stuck, but here's the pocket on a tag that I used for the ends, the binding part that I cut off of the other box. You know what I'm saying, I think, I hope. Anyway, so I made a pocket in it, but there's also a tuck spot within the pocket right here that I showed from the last video, but that's drying at the moment. So let me dig out my paper cutter. Ugh. I have stuff piled on top of it at the moment. Okay, so I only want these an inch wide. This is the cutter I use for cardboard. Alright, so I'm going to put that one there. When my paper um, blades get a little bit uh, dull and they don't cut paper without leaving those little you know pieces on the edges I'll mark I'll mark uh, the blade cutter for cardboard that way I can use it until I just can't use it anymore and then I'll replace it it saves me actually it saves me money so I, I'm not you know burning out my blades as fast Okay, so we've got four of these, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to cover these with the strips that were left over from uh, trimming my jelly plate paper to make the cover for the other journal. So, I'm going to just go ahead and add some glue. Now, the Eileen's Tacky Glue is so thick, I don't like using it under paper unless I can spread it out. Okay, and here we go, sticky fingers again, right? If you guys caught one of my last videos, you'll know me and sticky fingers and toilet paper just don't <laughs> We just don't go along, or get along. Um, so, but yeah, that was a funny story. Uh, mortifyingly embarrassing, but funny nonetheless. Okay, but I don't like using the Eileen's for the most part under paper because it's so thick. If you don't spread it out, it you can see the glue lines where you laid the glue down. And uh, oh, just a quick note: this is the one I used for paper and cardboard. This was a pair of scissors I got at the Dollar Tree for a buck. And they work perfect. I don't have to spend $20 on a pair of scissors. Now, I do have some $20 scissors. One, This pair is a $20 pair. And this one from Westcott, I believe. Yeah, Westcott. This was a $30 pair. These quilting scissors. <sighs> now, there's, there's something to be said for a really good pair of scissors. Okay, but if I'm just cutting paper and scrapping and crafting and I'm not going to use $30 scissors to cut paper. I'm just not going to do it. It's 
not for me. But yeah, I don't like using the Eileen's on paper unless I can spread it out because it's so thick you, you can see it and that just drives me crazy. So. Now these I'm just using as tabs for the signatures. And I may even cut them down and not use them as long, but that's okay. I'll use what I have until I don't have no more, right? But this is using scraps up. And since it's off the same piece of paper, it matches and coordinates. So that's kind of cool, in my opinion. I also like to make sure the glue gets along the edges so you get a really nice firm seat. And I'm using um, the liquid glue over a stick glue because it gives you a little bit more maneuverability when you need to um, line it up along edges and things like that. Oh, this blue handled pair, I also use it to cut sticky things and tape and stuff like that. You know, that gets so it doesn't mess up a good pair of scissors. But I said, you don't have to have the Tim Holtz titanium and all of that although they are really nice and I will suggest if you have any kind of pair of scissors you get a pair of paper scissors a pair of fabric scissors um, and depending on whether you know in your mixed media if you do do mixed media ah, she said doo doo um, to get a good pair of scissors that'll cut through you know wire and and thick fabrics or thick material There we go. Okay. And I can also stamp a name or a word, sticker or whatever, and use them on. See, now I think that might be a little bit too big for this. So I will. Trim it down some. That to me is a little bit more manageable. So let's trim them all down. And these little pieces I'm cutting off, you can keep them, you can throw them away, you can do whatever, but I think I'm going to hold on to them for a minute because I've got something in my brain. <sighs> All right, so now I've got four tabs. I'm not going to put them on until I get done. Uh installing them in the journal okay but I'll put those aside I will work on these so these are flaps obviously from cutting the ends off of the cracker box I could probably use my paper cutter but I really don't feel like digging it out at the moment and if it's really really off then I'll use it to straighten it up but 
All right. Let's do this one. I'm just cutting off that little folded edge, scored edge that gave the box its corners. There we go. All right. So now I've got two of these. And we want to find some paper that will match. Now I've got some leftover of this. So I could probably... Yeah, I could probably do that on one side. And again, unless you spread it out, I wouldn't suggest using Eileen's. I just didn't feel like going through the rest of my glue stick. And again, I want to make sure the edges are really good and gluey. Gluey. Is that a word? Gluey? Okay. Ooh, if you heard that, that means I have a video that it just got done uploading to uh, my uh, program I'm using to make them. And I will get to that in a minute. Okay, so. Now see, I don't know if you can see that. Even with rubbing it down or wiping it down, you still, you see them swirls right, right in there. Um, that's part of why I'm not a really big fan of using Eileen with paper. <clears throat> yeah. Use one of my palette knives. See if I can't smooth that out some without ripping the paper. Okay. All right. Okay, so we've got this one at the moment and we can use actually I might I kind of like this idea to decorate with pieces and it still coordinates Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. Now this is on cardboard, so I can get away with using Eileen's. I think I'll just put it up one side. Now you see I'm not measuring, I'm not, I'm not being really fussy about it, just putting it on there, but I'm using up what I have and it'll help coordinate with colors and stuff. Oops. OK, 
Okay, that one wants to curl up. So while it's curling, I'm going, while well, it's trying to curl anyway, I'm going to put this on it. There we go. Hold that down for just a minute. And we'll pull these off of here. Okay, so now, obviously that's a little bit too big for that. And it doesn't really match, but I was just using scrap papers I had on my desk. So let's see what I can put in here. Just to kind of give you an idea. All right, we'll use this. Since it's the right size. There we go. See, there's a pocket and a tag. And not only just a pocket and a tag, but we also have a tuck spot in a tag. So that's one idea that you can use. Um, yeah, there we go. And that was using pieces of the cardboard or the cracker box. Okay, now these are these are set. We'll put this aside. That one doesn't match. That's got to go in that one box that I'm not finished with. Obviously, this that one bookmark, but and you can call it a bookmark. You can call it a tag. You can use it however you want it. I like hanging really pretty tags off of my uh, storage containers in storage in in the garage or you know, in the back room. So I automatically know what's in it and I don't have to unload everything just to get to the bottom to see, oh, is that what I need? <laughs> All right. So with that, I'm going to grab, no, is this the one? No, not that one. That's a Prismacolor. I, I ordered two of these because I thought they would work the same way as a, a, a Stabilo. Uh, they're Prismacolor, Ebony, Jet Black, Extra Smooth, and they do, but they don't, um, see, you can clear it, it doesn't smear much, it smears a little bit. With a Stabilo, it doesn't smear much either, but, um, let me get my, my paper, or my, water pen working there. Ooh, that was too much. Yay. Okay. See with the Stabilo, it smears really well. Okay. With the Ebony, it doesn't, with the Prismacolor, it doesn't that much. Not as good as a Stabilo does. And I couldn't find these, and I actually got this in Happy Mail. So I was really, really happy for that. But they work really, really great if you want some sort of shadowing, you know? And I kind of want a little bit of shadow on these. And you don't have to use that much. That one had still had a little bit of wet glue. So... Wipe that off a little. Oops. And see, I'm not even putting that much on it because it'll... Alrighty. And watering it down a little bit just kind of blends that sharpness out. There we go. doesn't make that black so harsh.
This is a Jane Davenport um, water pen, watercolor pen. I don't like it as much as I do the, um, let's see, where's my other one? This one I got from um, Ranger, I believe. I believe it was Ranger. Look, oh, it depends on how you want to use it. Okay, because look at the difference in the nibs. You know, the Jane Davenport one is more like a watercolor brush, which is great, you know, if that's what you're using it for. And that's pretty much, I believe, what she made it for. And then the Ranger one has a very, uh, let me see, a smaller nib. So you see the differences. Okay, so those are those are shaded. I want to get I want to ink the edges. I'm using what is this? Bamboo leaves. It's not dramatic, but it's enough. And sometimes I'd like to put extra on the corner just to make it look a little bit more aged. Just kind of throw it around that corner some. Oh, this is a juicy ink pad. I like juicy. Alrighty then, let's poke a hole. Now you see how well I measured that, how detailed that was? <laughs> yeah, not, but that's okay. And let me see. Ah. I have some of these from like last year or two years ago or something. And since I put the, let's do this. Have you ever gotten one of these? This is a Tim Holtz ideology big chat. And then they've got a smaller one with smaller words that says chit chat. But going through all of these, Go through and, and try and make sentences out of them. Okay, like this one, I like. I like this. Beyond. Oh, no. Okay, let's do it this way. Beyond beautiful. Yep, just something simple. And then you can do other things if you want. You can add gems, which is not quite what I want to do to this one, but I've got. Uh oh! Craft a lanch, craft a lanch. No. Okay. I've got some beautiful beach grass. I kind of like that. Well, let's see. Okay, here's a skinny piece. Okay. 
And here's a skinny piece. I don't want that big piece up there. Maybe there's one more skinny piece. Okay. All right. Do we want another color? And then we need a little one. There we go. No, nope, that's too big. These are some really pretty colored pieces of glass. I don't even remember where I got these from, to be honest. No, I don't think I'm going to use these. Well, if I do, it'll only be maybe two pieces. I would like to find something that would complement it. Actually, what I'm going to do is take a piece of oops, cardstock. This my stabilo up and just slide it under. Oops, there's a little piece I might be able to use. how I want to do I really want that on there though so let's just kind of do it that way then glue strings off. Now there's a hint, you probably know this, but I'm going to share anyway. If you have a project that has a lot of glue strings everywhere, because sometimes it just works that way. Um, if you take your heat gun to your project afterwards and just quickly go over it, it'll get rid of all of your little um, uh, glue stringies. I missed one. so. So there's that. I also have a feather in the right colors that was gifted to me in Happy Mail. Oh, what do I want? What do I want? Let me find something to go as the tag. See, now that's kind of pretty. I think I'll pull that out. Uh, I want some jute. 
probably use that. I see those colors look really nice together. Let me see. There we go. Since it was tied. Actually, I think I'll double it up. Now I'm doubling it up just to give it a little bit of extra, you know, without adding a whole bunch. And I always place a little dot of glue right there. And it keeps my my thingies from falling out. And coming loose. And there we go. So that's one. And then you've seen how we use the others. Uh oh. Wow. I've never seen a glue stick go airborne like that. That was pretty cool. <laughs> I'll be right back. My glue stick went flying. Come right out the back of the glue gun. Ugh. I don't guess it quite got into the channel yet. Okay. There we go. Alright, now what I am going to do... I'm still going to be adding more, but I kind of want to get these done and out of the way. I can always add my letters later. So, or my words, however you want to. Okay, that'll be the top one. And I'm going to do the bottom. And because I want them to stagger, works. Okay. Well, for the most part, it'll semi-work, right? in frame. Okay. That one sticks out just a little bit. But that's okay. Because it's a junk journal, right? Now you see I'm lining them up how they're going to go in the journal so I know where to put them. Let 
And then there's that one. So there we go. Uh, I kind of don't like that, so I am going to trim that down just a little. Because I don't want it to affect, you know, fitting in the cover very, very badly. Whoops, wrong one. Okay, so we got tabs on our signatures. And these are just from leftovers from the cracker box. We still have two more pieces to use. And we can make more tags, more pockets. We can do whatever we want with them. And I think I'm going to do some, add some book pages and some other stuff to this on the next video since we're at 36 minutes. So, on that note, I'm going to let you go. Remember, if you watched my first one, uh, there's a giveaway on that one, not on this one. Um, you got to follow the directions that I give. And, ah. Uh, uh, I will send the winner a box of goodies. Or a package of goodies. However, whatever I can find to mail it all in. Um, so give me a thumbs up. Share my videos if you like them, please. And on the next one, we will work on book pages, encyclopedias, flip outs, things like that. And I will catch you on the flip side. Give me a thumbs up. Remember, have a good one. Bye.